Hey there, it's Jay once again with Mobile Games Reviews from Mob.org. Today in our program, some cool tower defense, Clay Heroes, a city building simulator, exploding jelly goblins, learning the rules of driving, and a dynamic platformer. Let's go! Let's start with Metal Slug Defense. Yes, it's a tower defense, but quite a nice one, and with its own features. Firstly, the game style is quite unusual. No, not the graphics per se, but the drawings. The machinery was obviously inspired by steampunk or a similar genre. Secondly, the concept. In a typical tower defense, we're just passively defending our home. But here, our task is not only to prevent the enemy from destroying our base, but also to destroy the enemy base in turn. A sort of tug of war, if you will, with blood and explosions, and that's a good thing. The second game is Heroes, a Grail Quest. It's generally something very similar to everyone's favorite Heroes of Might and Magic. The same turn-based movement on the map with the same turn-based battles and army gathering. But the graphics here are kind of plastic or something. I mean, they're 3D models, but they're not too detailed. I can't say if that's good or bad. On one hand, it's not very compelling. Yet, on the other hand, it gives more space for your imagination. In the end, I recommend it to all Heroes fans, because there's a good chance you'll like it. Next up is a game called 1849. It's set during the American Gold Rush period, but that's not really what it's all about. It's a city builder where you build up your towns and make them thrive. What is interesting here is there's a certain Sim City vibe. That is, it's not enough to just build the city. You need to establish its infrastructure and care for the people by making sure that everyone is working properly and where they need to be. There are several campaigns in different parts of the country, and the game's generally quite good. Next in our program is a puzzle game called Globlins. At first glance, it may seem like this is a total crap game. You just tap the goblins and they explode. And really, that's it. However, you can very soon see that there are nuances that make the game interesting. Goblins explode or rebound from other exploded ones. They can grow by taking your resources and so on. In short, very quickly it becomes clear that this is not a game for preschoolers whose mummy bought them a smartphone. Well, it's for them too, but older folks can enjoy it too. Speaking of school, School Driving 3D is a driving school simulator. Of course, it's greatly simplified. It involves only the basic rules, such as braking at a red light, not driving in the opposite lane, and using turn signals. If you follow the rules and complete missions, you'll be given points that later can be used to unlock new passenger cars as well as buses and trucks. The game graphics, to be honest, aren't that good, and the AI of other drivers is even worse. But nevertheless, the game is decent overall. There's also a free play where you can just drive as you like. And our last guest is a game called Mikey Hooks. It's a very dynamic platformer where you have to collect coins, dodge evil things, free other people, and avoid dying on spikes. The hallmark of the game is your hook that you can use to grapple on different platforms scattered throughout the level and swing on them. Generally, it's pretty fun, and with cool music that makes gameplay absorbing and addictive. Well, that's all for today. If you liked the review, subscribe to the channel, like stuff, and add comments. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. See you!